I'm joined once again by University of Central Oklahoma H-back Dalton McGee, who's currently in the middle of spring football, the first in the uh, Adam Doyle era. Dante, thank you for taking time to talk to me once again. Uh, before we get started, I don't know if you recall the last time you came on here, we had we talked about the 2018 bowl game at the very end when um, – Colton Lindsay got the game-winning pick, and you you said there's some clips out there of you actually running onto the field with your helmet on, thinking there was an that thinking that that the game wasn't quite over with yet. I have scoured the interwebs, and I actually found that clip, and I got <laughs> I gotta say, bro, that video, <laughs> you ran like right in front of the shot too, like you can't even deny it. It was just 85, and sees you running. <laughs> Off the sideline, putting your helmet on, and you, you literally ran on the field. And I think somebody either you finally saw it or somebody told you. But you like you you like you you run on, and then there's a pause, and you start running off, trying to like blend into the crowd of celebration. And <laughs> I just wanted to yeah. I, I mean, I, I told you it was one of those things where, uh, like, just me just being kind of oblivious. You know, I thought we got the interception, we had you know, at least take a couple knees or run a, a play and then take a knee or something. But, uh, but yeah, I thought we still had time left. And so then I put my helmet on and then again, people still kind of celebrate. So it's kind of like, you know, you, when you're the only one not, you kind of feel out of place. And so then that's when I realized, oh, like, this is it. Like, you got to line up and shake hands now. <laughs> I just wanted to know that it is indeed – it is indeed out there. That that was kind of I happened to see it. I'm like, wait a minute. I had to go back and I was like, sure enough, that is exactly what he said. <laughs> what he said happened. Uh, okay. Well, with that out the way now. <laughs> now, uh, so just how how is spring ball going so so far for both you and for the team as a whole? Um, I think the spring is going pretty well. Um, I think. Both offense and defense, you know, we are still, you know, trying to get used to the playbook because it's different for both sides. Um, you know, concepts and schemes, you know, that doesn't really change uh, too much throughout football. But the main thing is, you know, technique and terminology. That's the biggest thing for me. Um, I was, you know, with the old staff for five years. And so I just knew everything's like second nature. But with the new staff, it's different uh, verbiage uh, to me, kind of like the same things that we have from before. So it's kind of a bit of an adjustment, but um, I think the spring ball is going pretty well. Um, I think uh, as a team, we are being more competitive and more intense in practice with each other. And I think ultimately that will, you know, hopefully show on Saturdays coming in the fall of us being a, a more competitive team. Now, when you say is different technique wise for you, what, like, are we talking like blocking wise, or or like as far as like route running? What 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 is what is the difference for you now? Um, both. So um, so it's kind of universal, like blocking wise, uh, the terms, but how we block it for certain plays is different. So like, it could be the same play that we had from last year and this stuff, but how we block it is different. And so just kind of getting out of um the routine technique that we have from before and using the new technique. And then um, with running routes, it just, it's, uh, it's a little bit different. Um, it's all about how you process it in your head because if someone says, you know, run a four yard speed out, you know, or a five yard speed out that could, and someone says run a four step speed out, that could essentially mean the same thing. But then there's also, um, you know, if you say a, a five yard speed out, that can mean you know, plant your foot at five yards and then come out of it. Or that can mean plant before five and then you're going to end up at five. That can mean, you know, roll out of your out of your um, your plan or that can mean square cut it. So it's just kind of, you know, uh, knowing what the coaches want for the play and then also being on the same page with the quarterbacks. Uh, and so, OK, so as far as the, the techniques, which one? do you like best the the old one or the new one um honestly i like i like them i like a mixture of both um there are some things with the old set that you know uh maybe it was because i was more comfortable with it i like that better but then there's some things with the new stuff that uh i like better uh now that we do than the old stuff um i'd say as far as uh like with the running routes and whatnot i like I like it better with uh, the new staff than the old staff. But as far as the blocking, 
um, it's kind of give and take. Okay. Uh, and then now, as as far as the the uh, I guess the energy that that was there in the off the early stages of the off season, I know talking to you and then uh, Steph and Jace and even Coach Sanders, um, there, there seemed to be that that new that new energy. Is that is that still the case currently for you all in the spring? Uh, yes, for sure. Um, you know, again. Getting back into spring, you know, everyone's always juiced up to come out uh, for a spring ball, you know, those first couple of days. And then um, the challenge has been, you know, being consistent with it. The more practice we get, you know, starting to weigh more on your body, you know, you're going to be sore, you're going to be banged up a little bit, you know, practice kind of, you know, drag on a little bit, but you still got to bring that same energy. And I feel as though, you know, defense especially, they have the, long, the more practice we've gotten, the more they start to turn up a little bit. And, you know, offense, we've kind of uh, – We've kind of been, you know, uh, lagging behind on the defense, but that's something that we're trying to work on uh, this spring as well. So when we get in the games, you know, there might be the up, there's the ups and downs of the game. And so we want to uh, keep the energy as high as we can, even when we have the downs as well. Uh, and then as, as, as far as just the, the H-back room as, as a whole, yeah, you're being the elder statesman. How, how is the spring going for you from a leadership standpoint uh in, in your position group um i'd say it's i say it's kind of complicated to explain because you know i am the the old guy you know uh for the whole team now <laughs> but especially for the titans you know the next oldest titan is 19 and so you know there is the kind of like i'm older so like i do try to be a leader in that aspect but at the same time you know i'm learning you know everything just right along with them and so you know there's some things you know uh with you know, coach is teaching them, you know, I can try to get like a little few words of like encouragement, but at the same time, I'm learning too. So um, it's, it's kind of a weird process where we're starting to learn things all over again with them. But I think, I think that it's kind of one of those things where, you know, us just working with each other, you know, day in, day out, lifting, you know, hanging out with each other. It's going to be one of those things that uh, the longer we're with each other, the better it gets. Uh, and then with your new position, coach, how, 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 how is that? that chemistry coming along? Um, I feel like you, we still are kind of feeling out just a little bit as far as, um, you know, what he expects from us. Um, but the chemistry, I feel like it's pretty well, you know, uh, Titans as a whole, you know, they're, we're pretty young. And then our coach himself, he's young as well. And so there's, um, there's kind of a little, uh, there's an aspect where, you know, we kind of get each other and can kind of still joke around with each other. You know, we, we uh, get each other. But, um, you know, even though he is young, he is very uh, knowledgeable and he is very technical with what he's teaching us. And so, I mean, age is just a number in that aspect. So um, I think I think we all really like the, uh, the new Titan coach and I think we all um, respect him and we and he knows what he's doing. Oh, okay. Uh, and then, so there's, well, there's, there's, there's a couple of weeks left before the uh, April 2020, 2023 20, spring game. What, what are you personally hoping to accomplish in the remaining weeks you have left until the end of spring? Uh, the first thing is to uh, get all the plays down, not have any more busts. Last practice I had like three or four different busts and, you know, that's something that I'm not, that I usually don't do. So, Definitely getting the playbook. Um, I think also for me is to bring the energy a lot more. I think I'm kind of one of those people that, you know, I kind of just, you know, I get in my zone. I kind of, you know, focus on myself and I try not to mess up, but you got you to gotta be able to celebrate other people's success. And so it gets, it's contagious. And so it's one of those things where I think I need to be more uh, vocal and, you know, kind of outspoken on, you know, when people are doing good and just trying to maintain the, a high level of energy on the offense. Now, when you said when you said you had bust, okay, so it is the it is the new scheme. Is it more is it more complicated than the old one, or or is it just the fact that it's just a new scheme in general? Because I know when I talked to Coach Sanders, he mentioned that the defensive scheme, at least from his perspective, was simpler uh, than, than 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 the one last season. So is it just a case of it's just a new offense for you for the first time in five years, or is the is the scheme itself, um, I guess, h h harder to match for you? I think it's a little bit of both. Um, I think it's definitely, you know, because it's new. And so, you know, trying to go through the whole process of remembering what to do versus, you know, just 
automatically knowing uh, what, what to do. But I also think that um, this game is easier to understand. Um, I, think, I think it's really just, just because it's new. And so I, I think it's one of those things where you just got to get more reps, more reps, and then practice it, and then get the live reps as well. And then you have to – I think I need to get more into the film and start writing things down a lot more than, you know, the years, I, than years before. Uh, and then the uh, stadium expansion and, 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 and renovations has been going on during spring. Now, as someone who was there really before all this started popping off, what has it kind of been like to just see the growth of the facilities and the program as a, as a whole the past five years? Um, it, it's been great. Uh, when I first got to UCL, we were in the old locker room and, you know, where the SBC is now, it was just a grass field. Um, but yeah, in the old locker room is, it was kind of humbling because at least for me, uh, my high school locker room was nicer than the old UCL locker room that we had before. And so then my second year, you know, we got the SBC, so new locker room, weight room, all that stuff. And, you know, when we first got to see all that, you know, everyone was excited and very appreciative of it. And then now that, um, they're expanding on, you know, the visitor stands, they're adding in a waterfall. I mean, that. I can't think of one stand that has a waterfall in it, but, um, and then there's supposed to be a new turf. Um, I can't, I don't think the turf has been replaced at least since I've been here. So it, it's very cool to see all these new changes. Um, I will say though, you know, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter if you're playing on the grass field, turf, whatever, you still got to play. And I think, you know, with us getting these new things that we have, uh, that we'll have a, kind of more of a sense of pride and, you know, want to, uh, take care of it and then also play well. So it's like, you know, this is our home field and it's nice. You know, you don't want to have, you know, negative and losing at your home field. So I, I hope that uh, for now and then future years that, you know, uh, UCO is a place that, you know, whenever teams come in, it's it's a tough place to play at. Um, um. Okay, now you, you, you mentioned, uh, I think earlier, um, about trying trying to get on the same page with your with your your quarterback. I know you you you've taught passes from several different quarterbacks in your in your uh, time. Will Keith Chandler, uh, Brandon George for like a game, and 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 then obviously that last year Steph, and again this year Steph. Uh, how is that going? And just what was that experience like? I guess playing with so many different quarterbacks because I, I I imagine each was different in their in their own way. And so having to adjust to that, I feel like sometimes weekly it had to have been tough. Um, it can be a little bit. Um, I think, you know, all the guys that you listed, um, you know, mentally they were all there to be the quarterback, you know, lead the offense. Um, I will say the biggest difference, you know, is their mechanics. And so how their balls kind of come out is it's different with every single quarterback that you'll have. And so um, my quarterback in high school, he was a lefty and he was a pitcher as well. So, you know, he threw the ball pretty hard. And so when, he, when I got to college and, you know, you had Keats throwing you passes, you know, the uh, how lefties, the spiral is, it's different. So I feel like I didn't have to adjust too much to that. But at the same time, you know, how quarterbacks release it and their ball placement, you know, it's all going to be different. And so it can be a challenge, you know, to, you know, adjust to it, you know, kind of on the fly, but at the same time, you know, that's kind of, you know, your job, you're made that you're supposed to catch balls that, you know, no matter where it's at or who's throwing it. And um, I think, you know, with having all these different types of quarterbacks, you know, I think it just, you know, adds to being able to adjust, you know, all different types of, you know, circumstances that might come up, you know, if, you know, knock on wood, if a quarterback was to get hurt um, and you have, you haven't had any time with, you know, the backup or whoever else is coming in, you know, you can kind of rely on, you know, from the past, like, hey, to, you know, be able to adjust on the fly with that. Um. Okay, man, I guess I guess finally here, what what would you, if you have a message, what would your message be to the fans? Because I know practices, I believe, are, are uh, open to the public every day at four and then after the spring game on the 23rd. What, 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 what would your message be to fans 
to um, encourage them to come out and, and support for the remainder of the of, of, of spring? Uh, just that, you know, we're not the same team from last year. And I can't I can't tell you, you just gotta come out and watch it and how and how we practice and how we're handling things. It's a lot different from last year. So, you know, you just gotta come out and experience it experience it. And I know that uh, the coaches are trying to get, you know, kind of some of the local high schools, you know, to come out, you know, be around the team to watch practices and, you know, kind of get acquainted with the new stuff. But yeah, same goes for, you know, the, the general public, you know, it's, it's new, it's different. So you just got to come out and see for yourself. Uh, now, B, B, before I get you out of here, now, you, I think last time you came on, you said you was a Packers fan. Would, would that that'd be correct? Yes. Okay, yes. now, I, I got to ask now because like, you, <laughs> you were able to, to keep Rodgers, but then you lost, you lost Devontae Adams. So as, as a Packers fan right now, how are we feeling about that? Uh, I don't know. It's it's tough. Like like I told you, you know, I rock with Aaron, but at the same time, you know, Devontae, he's been there. I think he's probably been there like around ten years, and so you know that's been you know Aaron Rodgers' guy for the for the most part. And so it's like you know, you know who who's gonna step up and fill that spot. And then we also lost uh, one player that you know I hope he was gonna keep was Darius Smith, and you know we weren't able to keep him. So. I don't know. Um, you know, I'm I'm very hopeful. You know, we got Aaron Rodgers, and so you know, whoever we get to fill in those uh, those spots, you know, I'm hopeful that it'll all work out. But at the same time, I'm gonna miss those two guys. You know, those are two guys I liked watching. Now, now do do you, do you think this is the year though when when they finally pick a receiver in the uh, first round? You know, it's. It's it's hard to say because when you have like an offense like that, you know, you kind of want to go with you know the guys who are probably more experienced or someone who can you know come in and fill the role. But at the same time, the role that you're kind of needing now is the number one all star, you know, uh, receiver to take most of the uh, targets, the ones that are going to win the. Uh, the 50 50 balls, you know, the one that's going to do it all, like kind of like what Devontae is. And so, um, you know, I don't know about free agency, you know, what type of receiver like that is still available. So it's like, you know, you got to go through free agency or you got to go through the draft. And uh, I think, I think there's some pretty good young receivers coming out of the, out of the draft. I just don't think, uh, you know, numbers wise, like, I don't think we're high up in the draft to possibly get those type of receivers. So, I don't know. It's going to be interesting to see what they kind of do. I mean, that's kind of what, you know, front office and management is paid for to make those decisions. So, you know, hopefully they'll make the right one. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm glad you still got faith in them because I, I know that had to have been tough and that news broke. I was like, oh, wow. They, I mean, I mean, granted, you all did get a pretty good haul from it. So, you know, you just got to kind of hope that they, they hit on the majority of those picks or they turn those picks into – positive moves that, you know, help keep you all competitive because you all have been been pretty close the past couple of years and it just, I feel like just some 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 bad breaks here and there really cost you from getting back to that Super Bowl. So, okay, well, you know, it's, it, it's good to see you still got faith. I know I'm pretty sure some Packers fans would probably, you know, jump ship after that. But, you know, it, it's good to see you still, still, still keeping along, keeping along. Oh uh, well, Dante. I, I appreciate you taking time this morning. I know it, it's it's probably busy for your spring and then school and 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 such. So I, I do appreciate you taking time out of your morning to talk. Come on here. Um, I, uh, we hope to bring you back on. Uh, I think we said post spring, sometime. Uh, I, I think you 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 said you be interested in coming back on again. So, um, for the listeners, really out there, this is not going to be the last time you're going to see Dante. You'll probably see him. Several more times, he, he's always a a very welcomed welcome guest here on the uh, podcast. And so again, Dante, I, I do appreciate it, and uh, I hope you have a good, healthy, prosperous remaining of the uh, spring. And I, I look forward to seeing you there uh, Saturday, April twenty third at six p.m. and 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 really see for the for the first time how, how we're looking and you know how 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 the vibe is and 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 how we you know head to the off season and then you know head in the fall and, 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 you know, try to put last year behind us and, you know, move forward in a 
you know, good, positive way. Yes, sir. Thank you for having me. No problem, Dante. Thank you.